I'm a professor of business by background, and most of my research is in business and uh, large information systems. The reason I think this is important is that cybersecurity is becoming a, a bigger and bigger threat to the viability and profitability of businesses as they go forward. Companies are having to put much more effort into this arena than ever before. What's more, the boards of companies are getting more and more responsibility foisted upon their shoulders. Uh, when it comes to this arena without commensurate training and knowledge as they might have, for example, in the financial arena. So we face tremendous risk without necessarily having the training and education necessarily to, necessary to deal with it. Our view is that that training and education needs to go all the way from the board level right down to the junior school level, to, the, um, to, the, to teaching kids about computer security. And so the dimension we're looking at looks at what should we be teaching people about this arena and how should we teach it to them. And so we're looking around the world at the moment at, I hesitate to say best practices, but the varied practices that people are currently using. And then trying to come up with some prescriptions about what people might do and then give measures of how well people are doing, both in companies and at the country level. So the changes I think need to be made in education to keep pace with cybersecurity needs, I think it needs a, a broad change in mindset. In the past, we've seen cybersecurity as something that the IT department deals with and everybody else kind of defers to them as the experts. And there's a great analogy with the way things used to work in, for example, quality and quality management uh, 20 years ago. It used to be that you would have a quality department and they would look after quality. Everybody else was meant to just get on with the job. Nowadays, no successful business sees it like that. Quality is everybody's job. It's distributed work. And so people are genuinely trained on quality as part of their job. So centralized quality departments have kind of disappeared more or less. And our hope is and our belief is that that's what will happen with cybersecurity. We will still have experts that you can call on uh, in central IT departments and companies. But more and more, the responsibility is going to lie with the individual because the threats are so multifarious and so changing that we need people who have a genuine awareness and training in the issues so that they can catch problems locally before they become global. The question of how much responsibility lies with governments rather than business I think is ultimately a political one and this is going to vary very much depending on where you are on the political spectrum and which country you happen to live in. Uh, some people don't like government uh, having too much responsibility for this stuff. But I think inevitably part of the responsibility lies with government in providing the resources necessary for businesses to access so that they know uh, what, is, what threats are out there. Government can also help by providing emergency response for companies that are completely overwhelmed by a problem and have nowhere to turn. At the same time, there are businesses and uh, business organizations that have a responsibility to do things. And again, I'll, if we go back to quality, say, and the, the ISO 9000 movement of the 80s and 90s, where people were certified in terms of their quality, you can imagine businesses and business organizations having a big role to play in this and organizing uh, training amongst themselves that will allow businesses to work more effectively and safely in the environment.